In this training video, we are looking at the use of multiple baselines. So in this example, we've got a baseline which is now well behind where the actual project sits because of a constraint whereby an engineer manager is often long-term sickness. So right now, the, the situation with the manager is we need to get moving again. So we have to reset the baseline. So let's show you the constraint. So here's the constraint and the engineer manager is unavailable for long-term sickness. So what we're going to say here is we set a new baseline and we've got someone in the engineer manager's team to step up and do the work of the engineer manager. So they've found out uh, more about the role, they've, they've done a bit of digging themselves and they've managed to cover for the engineer manager. So they're the one now who are going to do the design job spec. So in effect, a second baseline has been set. So if I turn on the second baseline, baseline and it's baseline one so the right now the baseline one we are uh, it's just just been set so it's a new baseline and we are where we want to be but we now know we've got another baseline which was the original baseline which is where our real problem was so sometimes you want to see multiple baselines to see where things might have gone awry within a project or a process you might be controlling through Microsoft project so for example, I can go to a view on the task tab and go to a view called, if I go to more views, there's a view called, if I scroll down, and have a little look at it, there's a view about baselines. Here we go, multiple baseline Gantt. So you can show multiple baselines through more views and it's called multiple baseline Gantt. But what it's going to do, it's actually going to get rid of my bars on the Gantt chart. So we'll see what it does right now. If I apply it, okay, I've changed the timeline view to condense it, but all I can see right now is two baselines. If someone asked me, so if I look at the blue baseline, this is the original baseline called baseline itself. The red baseline, this is baseline one. So if someone says to me, well, where are the Gantt chart bars? I can't see them. I can only see the two baselines right now in what's called multiple baseline Gantt's view. Well, for some people, if they're printing, that this is not what they want. They want to be able to print with multiple baselines, as well as showing the Gantt chart itself and how the Gantt chart is behaving at present. So we're going to come out to this view, go back to Gantt chart, and now I'm going to leave it on the actual baseline one which is now set and just show you what I can do with using project and so the format tab and format bar styles so I can now in this area create a new icon for baseline one and actually show it on the Gantt chart so baseline is already here you can see baseline now i can now produce one for baseline one to start so i'm going to now produce one for baseline one to start so i'm going to so i'm going to cancel this for a minute i'm going to take it back to the original baseline and i now want baseline one to come on now in line with the gantt chart itself so I know the baseline is displayed, the original one, but I also want the baseline one to be, to be displayed. So I'm going to go to the Format tab, the Format arrow and Bar Styles. Now if I come down to the bottom, I can now create a new one. So I want to create Baseline 1.
and the appearance which I can now control I'm going to use a shape of I could use a thick blue bar again if I wanted to or I could use thin blue bars so I'm gonna keep the way I was the pattern I might choose a thicker pattern and the color of the middle of the baseline I want to change in this example to become I'm gonna go for a darkish orange now the starting point I might want a little triangle for example so I click a little triangle and I can say okay well, what kind of color do I want for this so I might put a solid black color or I might want a different kind of color I'm gonna go for a bluish color so there's a blue triangle with a blue pointing arrow with a with an orange bar for my baseline one and there it is I'm now going to change the end shape to be a a little point to point in the other direction so there's a second one and I'll keep keep the same kind of blue color so there we go we can now see what what it's trying to do there's the preview now I want this to control baseline one start date and baseline one finish date so I'm going up to baseline one start so that's from and then to baseline one finish now there's loads and loads of fields you can control using the bar styles so this is just an example of an extra baseline that I'm creating to put on the Gantt chart so there we go baseline one start baseline one finish now I've got it selected and I've now click OK and there we go so I've now got the baseline turned on I can see little, little orange dots so they're turned on any time now that I change something within the baseline I'll now get a variance from where I was so I've now got a baseline graphic I can now show where the original baseline was where the baseline one now is if I go back into format bars if I don't like what I've just done I can go back in and say okay I want to change that to look to look in a different way I'd say I wanted to do something else it could be a different kind of line different kind of color Let's go for maybe black this time then okay and we can now see little areas of it changing so we can now see that a baseline can be set through multiple ways so this shows how baselines could be displayed within Microsoft project with multiple baselines if I were to put a second constraint on now just to show a delay from the baseline so first interview I'm gonna delay it by and this is now for the Twenty fourth of December, so we're just going to delay that one because we can't uh, work over the holidays. So in this example, you know, we're going to add the constraint. We could have done this through calendars as well. So I'm gonna delay this for. So we'll go from the twenty fourth to the seventh, and we'll say note will be delayed due to Christmas holidays okay 
and we can now see there's a delay from the baseline and the baseline graphic now shows the delay the bar is now showing us where we're going so we can now see a split from the two of them according to the baseline we've now set if you wanted to change the color again and we think okay i don't want to print with blue and blue or black and blue we might go back and format it again and say okay don't i don't like that appearance if we go back make it more visible maybe and we can now see the delay of the baseline and what it's trying to achieve so we've now got a little delay between two little arrows could have done just a solid line and left it with none of these arrows so you might say well how would you do that without getting rid of the line can we can we get rid of the start and end points so we could go back to format bar styles could come down the bottom again and we could say blank blank we only want the line itself okay and that to a lot of people looks better so sometimes it's not just the kind of shapes you can create it's the way it looks for viewing and printing and if I were to look at this now I could then print with it if I were to set to for example a3 so I could look at this in print. Okay, set it to maybe A3. And there we go. So we can now see some baseline stuff. Information where I should be. Take this to the uh, meeting. And there's a full report on the baselines and where we are now against the project. So this completes the use of baseline graphics within Microsoft Project, looking at different views and formatting bar styles to give you baseline graphics within Gantt Chart View. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.